What I'd like to show you in this video is how to make some changes to the existing SharePoint site collection. So a site collection is the top of the tree where it has all the information and sites and document libraries and everything beneath it. So to make changes at an admin level we need to log in as an Office 365 administrator to which we get the portal as you see here. In the top right we go to admin, we pull that option down and we select SharePoint from the menu that therefore appears. This will take us to the uh, SharePoint Admin Center and this will display our list of site collections that we have access to. So you see I have a number that are available to me. It's important to note that this SharePoint Admin Center is only available in the enterprise plans, generally not available in the small business plans. Now if I want to make a change to a particular site, all I need to do for example is select that and then you will see the ribbon menu across the top highlight indicating the changes that I can make. So in this case if I want to increase the amount of storage space that is available I select the option to set storage quota and you'll see that I have 9.37 gig available and it's currently set at almost 2 gig. So what I can do I can simply go in there and I can change this and change the options like for example sending an email to the site collection administrator for example when my usage gets close to uh, reaches perhaps uh, let's say 90% of the usage. Now once I save that what we'll see is is that will then update the site collection you will then notice that you'll see a little green uh, spinner letting you know that that is updating and then uh, when that is finished you'll notice that the storage has now been increased to a much higher level so it's really that simple you simply go in select the site go to storage quota and then increase the amount of storage that is available now the limit that you will have available to you is the total amount of storage now that's indicated here in the top right so at the moment you can see that I have 9.37 available of 30 gig so I can allocate obviously up to the amount that I have freely available so quite easy quite quick just simply go into the site collection select storage quota and increase the value to increase the amount of space that is available to that SharePoint site collection so that you can now add more documents and information to that area. Now with that updated we can basically do the reverse so what we'll do is we'll select our site collection go back into storage quota but what I'm looking to do here basically now is to reduce this from the amount so it's currently set to 3000 I might want to reduce that because I want to make space available. Now before I do that I can reduce the space provided that space is not in use. So what we do is we go in and select the site collection to look at its properties. So now when we look at our properties you'll see that the storage usage is actually only 0.1 gigabytes and we've allocated a total of 2.93. So we're able to recover potentially 2.92 gigabytes of space. So what we can do is again select that, go into storage quota and we can now reduce that amount of space we have allocated back to a level that is more suitable provided that that space isn't currently in use. So I know at the moment you'll see that I'm only using 0.01 but I've allocated 2.93 therefore there is 2.92 of space that is currently unused. So I can now bump this down to 2 gig in total. So if I now save that that will then go away, update the site collection, remove the additional space and return that to the pool. So you'll now see that the pooled space goes up and this then decreases to the number that I've set. You'll notice that the spinner continues for a few minutes while that site information is being updated. So you can increase and you can decrease the amount of space allocated to a SharePoint site collection obviously when you do decrease it that's on the proviso that that space isn't currently being used by that site collection. Now the other thing we can do for our site is we can also go in and we can change the server resource quota. So for example if I pick a site here I can go into the server resource quota and I can adjust that if required. So by default you get put in 300 but maybe you want more, maybe you want less. So typically server resources are resources other than disk space, things like memory utilization, processor speed, those sort of things. So if you're using a site with lots of third-party tools or lots of 
uh, web apps, then you may need to increase that server quota. So simply again, select that, go to the option on the ribbon menu, and then make the adjustments as required. Now the other thing that we can do is that we can adjust the people that are what's called the site collection owners. So if we go in, select a site collection, we then go up to the owners button and you'll see that I have the button option here to manage administrators. If I go in there, I have the option to set a primary uh, site collection administrator, there can be one of those, but I can set multiple share uh, site collection admin secondary site collection administrators so really it's as simple as again just typing in their name or I can go through a list of users here I can, that are Office 365 users and I can for example allocate them to be a site collection administrator now remember that a site collection administrator is someone who has full rights throughout the site um, without that being made obvious within the site. So a site collection administrator can always make changes. Now the reason you may want to allocate or change a site collection administrator is if you need access to that site collection administrator and you haven't been given specific access to that site already. So going in here, selecting the tenant and then going to owners allows you to go in and basically set a global administrator for that site collection so you can then log in and make any changes that you want. Now the final option that we'll discuss here is how you share your site with external users. So remember that uh, Office 365 SharePoint allows you the ability to share your information in a team site with external users. Now the first setting what you need to do is you need to go down here into settings and you'll find that there is a global option that we need to set here to allow external users throughout all our site collections. So down here under external sharing you'll see that we have three options. Don't allow sharing, allow external users to accept sharing and have to sign in and also allow external users and anonymous links. So in this case I'm allowing external users and anonymous links potentially across all my tenants. So if I go back to my site collections, so that's the very first thing we need to set. The next thing we then need to do to allow external sharing on an, a site collection is select the site collection and go to the sharing button. Here we can now choose again whether to allow sharing, whether to allow external users and to allow external users and anonymous guest links. So here we can control exactly who has access externally once we turn it on for our complete tenant. Now what you can obviously do is you can set up certain site collections to be have no sharing whereas other site collections may have full sharing. So this is one of the advantages of creating different site collections because you can then configure the external sharing as you see fit. So good point of practice is generally to make sure that you have the securities right because you don't want external users potentially getting access to your internal information. So quick and easy way to make sure that that is correct. So in summary we select a site collection, we go into the storage quota and we can adjust up or down the amount of space, disk space that that site has allocated to it. We can also select the site collection and go into the server resource quota. The resource quota allows us to control how many uh, things like processor speed and that within a site collection. And again, typically you increase this when you add more web, app, web apps and third party solutions. The third option, remember, is to go into settings, turn on external sharing, select the site collection and then hit the sharing button to allow inter external users to gain access to that information in that site collection. The final option again is to select the site collection and go into share and go into the owners area and this allows you to set your site collection administrators who have global rights throughout that site collection allowing them to administrate it quickly. That's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching.